Hey guys, I'm LB, welcome back to episode 3, the third episode, fourth episode, I mean, fourth episode. Episode 3 is the fourth episode of Disoriented. Last time we got rather stuck here, we figured it out eventually, let's move onward. Ooh, we have a lot of different options right from the start. Let's start by growing this plant. Nice little plant. So we can go this way, we can go mess with that thing, or we can go fall through this. Where will this take us, actually? Right back where we started? Yeah, right back to the beginning. Okay. So that eliminates that as an option. What is over here? Not much, actually. Geronimo! So that eliminates that as an option. This so looks like our very first thing to interact with is actually just this. Hmm. So now we can go over here, right? Oh, whoops! Yep, yep, whoop, okay. <laughs> it's very easy to fall off. There we go. Create a checkpoint. We have a button. Which again, I wish we had dashed a line so I didn't have to guess what actually changes here. Can you guys see it? Cause I can. Looks like that's a change that happens. There's nothing much over here, not sure why this is here just yet. It's so weak freaky how the sky moves. but not the stars. The clouds move, but not the stars. Well, this is a new place. So that was originally like that, right? I think we want it like that, so we can land there. And can we see the other side? Mm, maybe landing there's a bad idea. But it's the only lead I have, really. The edge detection works pretty well. For those of you- those of you wondering what edge detection even is, it's, uh, basically, these black lines, you've noticed that even as they go further away from us, they're all the same thickness, no matter how, how far away they are. And that's because they aren't actually part of the models, they're not a texture, they're actually drawn on afterwards as a shader. Basically, the shader looks at the- the finished rendering of the scene, and it finds the edges of objects, and it draws lines onto them. And the lines are the same thickness no matter the distance, and that's why things have an interesting look. Antichamber uses that, several other indie games use that. It has a very cool look to it, it's one of my favorite minimalist art styles. But it's also rather overused. Right, so. That's not useful. I think that's the best we're gonna do for now. And it seems like I would want to fall down here, right? Yeah. Let's rotate this and see if this does anything else for us. Not particularly. Hmm. How else would- would we want to rotate that, I wonder? Cause it doesn't- it doesn't let us do anything, really. I guess I'll just leave it like that for now. Oh, 
Oh wait, that wasn't there before. Hold on a second. I didn't realize we could actually go somewhere here. Let's investigate this real quick. What's the purpose of this? Can we rotate the exit? How do we get to that? I think we could rotate the exit, right? How do I get there? I think there is a path that's turned off right now. Yeah, there it is. So doesn't that technically mean I'm done and I just need to go... ...undo my stupid rotation? Does that mean that this plate- this thing only needed to be rotated one way ever? That's kinda weird, don't you think? If this is the only way it ever needs to be rotated, that's kind of a bad use, in my opinion. I don't know, let's- we'll find out momentarily. By momentarily, I mean in a few minutes as it takes us to walk around slowly and painfully. Right, I need to go the other direction. Wait, how do I get there again? I know I got there once. Uh, I think I messed up. I know I've been there, haven't I? I swear I have. How did I get there before? Yeah, cause I used- I used that thing before. How did I get into this situation? can't just walk off the ledge here, right? That wouldn't work. Right it? Yeah, because I can't even get there. There's no ramp. How did I access that before, then? Am I forgetting something? How did I do this? I need the dashed lines. I need the dashed lines, because I'm absolutely lost with this button and this the way this is. How did I do this?
Well, this is interesting. What am I standing on? Um... Okay. <laughs> I guess that was a thing that happened. I'm not entirely sure how that happened, but I'll take it. I think this is the only thing I want to do with this orientation, right? Yeah, just rotate it once. Which, again, is a bad use of an element, in my opinion. This is basically just walking around pushing buttons if you only ever need to rotate this once. And you never need to do anything else with it. That's just walking around pushing buttons. I swear I've visited that before, but I think it was a trapping situation when I did. How do I get over there? Have I even been over there? I could've sworn I've been over there, though. Have I not been over to that one and I just forgot? Maybe. <laughs> maybe I have. Maybe I just completely didn't even remember that I haven't been there. Or maybe I did this so long ago that I already forgot about it. Whoa, let's not do that, please. Oh, unless I wanted to connect it like that. Do I? I don't think I do. My goal is to get to... that. How do I get over there? <laughs> fall down here, that would be a trapping situation. I don't think I can make the jump to this at all. Do I get over there? <laughs> maybe now that the button's pushed, and I have access to this, maybe I can see something that I couldn't see before. No, that really doesn't seem too helpful unless it's connected like that. I feel like I'm missing something. Is this different music from before? Sometimes I hear wind chimes and stuff. It's very subtle. I wonder if I could turn it up. At the ambient volume? Perhaps.
Maybe I need to do that? I don't know. That doesn't seem helpful, though. The lack of dashed lines is the main problem with this game. Like, these puzzles aren't actually too difficult. It's just that there's fake difficulty because you you don't actually know where things are going to rotate. I've said it before and I'll say it again. A good puzzle game is one where the player can look once without touching anything and they can solve the entire puzzle in their head. And then they can do it all correct. In this puzzle game, that is not possible, because there's no way to tell what's connected to what. You can't see where things are going to rotate or alternate when you push buttons and stuff. It's basically walking around, trial and error, pushing buttons. I'm not personally a fan of that, really. to get there. That's the only place I need to get. And I can't see how to do it. Also, have I mentioned that the puzzles vary in difficulty? Sometimes they're harder, sometimes they're easier. It's really inconsistent. I think I've mentioned that, right? Does this make a sound? I think they do make a sound, it's like a vent sound. Also, now I'm trapped. Yeah, it makes a vent sound! I didn't hear that before. do anything for us. That doesn't do anything for us, so it's just these two. That, and that. What did this rotate again? I've forgotten because there's no connections, no signage. Right. Maybe I do want it like that for a moment. Sure, actually. But it's the only lead I have. 
I haven't tried it, so... That's how I'm solving it, by just trying things I haven't tried. If there was actual signage and dashed lines and stuff, this would be a puzzle, but as of right now, it's just trial and error. And the walking speed is so slow. I've complained about that a bunch already, though. Yep, this is... this is not helpful. Back we go. I need to be in this orientation, on this spot... ...while the button is white. Why is this such a weird path to take? Why is that such a weird path? Trapped. Excellent. over there. And there's no zoom- zoom key, we already established, right? There's- there's an invert zoom direction. But... in more options... There is no key for zooming. I think we established a long time ago that I can reach the exit easily enough, I just need to rotate it. I don't remember which way I needed to rotate it, though. That's the problem. I think I needed to rotate it so that I could walk along... there. On the- this side. Forgetting what that rotates because there's no signage. So I ha every time I want to think about something, I have to go and actually physically go to a place and rotate a thing just so that I know what it does because I can't hold it all in memory at once. Right.
I'm getting impatient now. <laughs> I can just fall off of here, right? Yeah. Does that do anything for me? Ah, uh, I think that's what I needed. I think that's the entire thing that I needed, right there. Yep, I just needed to fall in through this the other way first. So this at least gets- gets reused, which is nice. Yep, here we go. I think that's right. Yeah. Now I need to go and undo everything. Put everything back into position. Nope, nope, wrong- wrong way. I need to do this. But man, there is so much walking involved in this solution. So much walking. At least most things get used multiple times, which is nice. But... It's still... a lot of walking. There we go. That should do it. Now we should be able to leave. Shouldn't matter which button we have pressed right now. Oh, actually, we did need this button press, because this little ramp's here. Really? It shouldn't really matter that much, I don't think. Ta-da! Finally! Oh my gosh. Achievement unlocked, disoriented. Right, well, I'm not sure why I got that achievement, but, uh... Anyway, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye.